Hello, Miguel from Grumo, and today I want to show you an app that allows you to generate custom quotes for your business. So let's say you have a website and you want people to have somewhat of an idea of how much you're going to charge for your services. This could be something like app development or website design, or let's say you have a brick and mortar business, or maybe you have a car detailing shop, or maybe you create custom furniture. That means that they're going to answer a series of questions and based on their answers, you're going to automatically give them a quote or an estimate. Now you could use this coding app on your website and people could generate quotes automatically. Or if you want to disclose your prices right away and, and you want to have a sales call before you generate a quote, you could use this tool internally in your business for your sales department to help them generate quotes based on the requirements and the needs of a specific potential customer. Now, the great thing about this template is that it's built with Glide, which allows you to customize the entire logic to suit your specific needs. And if you want to get a copy of this app template, just go to rumo.com slash quarter. Now, let me show you how it works. All right, so we're inside the Glide app editor. This is where the app was originally created. And when you get a copy of the template, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm seeing here and you'll be able to modify all the logic. You'll be able to see that there is a place where all the data is stored. It looks kind of like a spreadsheet with a bunch of different tables. And then you have the uh, layout area where you can modify the look of your quoting uh, app. So let's say I want to change from the cards view to a list view. And you can see how by clicking a button, I can completely change the look of the app. All right, now let me show you how the app works. Basically, you can create as many quotes as you want to. And once you create a quote, it will appear here listed. Let's say that we're gonna try the custom furniture. Now I'm logged in as the administrator so I can see all the quotes that have been submitted. So if I click see all, I can see there is uh, all these quotes that have been submitted and I can click on any of them and I can see the details of the quote when it was submitted, the total of the quote, the summary of all the answers provided by the customer. And then I can also change the status of this lead from pending contact one or lost, or I can delete it as well, okay? Now, from the customer perspective, they will see something different. They will see the same user interface except the history of quotes because that's a private information. And they would just click on uh, give me a quote and they'll be taken through a series of questions. In this case, it's four questions and we're in uh, the first question, furniture type, uh, which type of wood, which type of uh, finished. And then they would enter the email and that would generate a quote, in this case, $1,920. And now they can either book a free consultation, email the quote, or exit. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now, how does this uh, work from the inside? So if I log in as the administrator, now I can go back to the same quote. And if I click on the edit button here on the top left corner, I'll be able to see the form that uh, is used to create this uh, quote. We have the title, description, and image, and then the four questions that we're asking the potential customers, and based on their answers, we're going to calculate the quote. So let's click on the first question, furniture type, and then we can see here that the question type is select, which means they can select from several options. And then based on the selections, we have different prices, right? So if it's a chair, 455, so 500. And then the number next to it is a multiplier. So let's say that instead of adding a fixed amount, we want to add a percentage. So let's say that by selecting that option, now the total is multiplied by, let's say, 20% or 50%, right? And you can click in any of the options, let's say the sofa one, and then you can change the option cost or change the option multiplier, also add an image. Or if you want to jump to any of the questions after this question is answered, you can select, for example, maybe based on their answer, I don't need to ask any more questions and I just wanna collect the email, then you would select email and it would jump to the last question. Now, if you just wanna collect some test information like name, you will click text. If you wanna collect more information, message or their email uh, or phone, you would select these field types. Now let's click cancel and go back to the actual quote form. And if you scroll down, you can see that there is three input fields. One is the 
call to action button text. So which, what text do you want to show up at the end when the quote is generated, where you want this button to point. In this case, it's going to be my, my Calendly because they're booking a free consultation, but this could be uh, any other website. And then finally, if you want to collect a deposit, you enter here the percentage of the deposit. For example, right now we're not collecting a deposit, but let's say I want to collect a 50% deposit. I will just enter 50. I'm gonna click done, and you'll see when I go through the quote uh, at the very end, it's going to give us the quote $728, but now there's a button also that says pay now 50%, and that takes us to a checkout page where we can enter the 50% deposit. And that's basically how it works. So there you go. If you wanna get a copy of this quoting tool, simply go to groomo.com slash quarter and you'll be able to get your own copy of this app. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.